Uh, hi, Sambit. My name is Pranav, and uh, I'm like 18 years old and coming to Netherlands for my studies in computer science and engineering in the University of Twente. Uh, I'm going to do my bachelor's there, and I have some few questions to ask. So, can I ask? Like, can I begin with my questions? Yeah, uh, just one thing. The you have already got admit in Twente, or you're going to apply for bachelor's? I got like final admission from uh, University of Twente for bachelor's in computer science and engineering, and uh, I got a final admission from TU Eindhoven for electrical engineering. But I am going for computer science and engineering at University ah, okay. of Twente, and uh, I just wanted to ask some few questions about yeah. computer science and engineering in general in Netherlands. Okay, and uh, like my first question is like uh, it. It may be you. You may have you know seen that question a lot of times, but um, like, how are the job opportunities in Netherlands for computer science engineering grad students who have done their bachelor's and masters from Netherlands? Like, yeah, I, I mean, for bachelor's, I, I mean, if you do a bachelor's here, obviously you have a lot of options. Like, uh, uh, I mean, some Dutch companies like. Some startups generally mm. mostly prefer people with even with zero experience and uh, uh, not a master's degree but a bachelor's degree. But it's I mean for CS at least it's uh, have you seen my working video before? Yes, the, yes, with Varun I've seen that video. It's, it's very general, but especially for CS after masters the career there is a career center in TU Delft. So okay. every university has a career center, but I'm just talking about Delft because I did my master's in Delft. So they had some statistics and they said like for master's students who graduate after master's, if you are from CS, then at max people like it takes like approximately around one month at max. If someone has not got a job after graduation at max, it takes one month to be placed in any company. but. For other faculties, it was a bit more, but on an average, it was like three or four months. So for some faculties like 3ME or other faculties which are not CS. So in CS, the the scenario is very bright, although I cannot uh, say particular mm -hmm. numbers because there are no numbers available anywhere. Okay. But uh, I, I mean, you will find a lot of companies. So there are a lot of options like in campus. Also, you might find mm -hmm. some like in Delft, there was something like uh, uh, feedback fruits it was like a startup company and now they have grown a lot so some i mean nowadays in i have seen in leiden because one of my professor he has now become the director of leiden university in oh, good. education and learning mm -hmm. so in leiden also they have i mean in most dutch universities they have some kind of like a startup incubator so in through that program they like uh, also teach you in entrepreneurship and also give rise to these kind of startups from where they hire the people on campus like uh, oh that's that's really good to find know. job they, they don't hire actually like uh -huh. in india they don't come to the campus yeah, but yeah, you can yeah. find your okay. so every university has their own entrepreneurship and innovation cell and everyone is setting up now even though not everyone has it now but now i think in leiden utrecht delft and I think three or four already have it and maybe more because I don't know about every university, but so mm -hmm. I mean for CS especially the scenario is very good. I mean if you are after bachelors, I don't know exactly the salary after bachelors, but after uh, masters, after masters, the average salary mm -hmm. if you're in CS, then it's like uh, I mean after tax on hand, you will get approximately uh, something like 2.2 to 2.7 or 8 uh, K per month in Europe. Oh, that's but, good. That's good uh, for a starting salary. And yes, the, my next question was. Uh, like